DigitalOcean was founded all the way back in 2011, and our first product was droplets. Let's go ahead and create a droplet. I'm going to click Get Started with a Droplet. Here on the Droplet Create page, you can choose your region for your new droplet. You want to be sure that the region you choose is as close to your users as possible. You want your latency to be really low so that your users get a fast experience. I'll choose San Francisco because I'm on the US West side. You can choose a data center here. And something to note here is that everything in a data center will be added to a VPC and everything in the VPC, all your resources will be able to communicate securely over their private IP addresses. Next up, we'll choose an image for our droplet. You can choose one of these OS's or you can even go into the marketplace and choose a pre-built image for your new droplet. So if I wanted to install WordPress right out of the box, you can just click that and be good to go. I'll choose Ubuntu 22.10. Next up, you are going to choose the size of your droplet. Now there are a lot of great options here because there are a lot of different ways to create a droplet for certain applications. And it really all depends on what you'll be building. If you're building a hobby project, you may want to go with a regular CPU, maybe $6 a month, $4 a month even if you're testing things out. And when you start moving up to the more production level applications, you may want to go to a dedicated CPU, maybe a CPU optimized droplet. There are many types of options here and if you need help choosing a plan, you can click need help picking a plan, help me choose, and this will get you down to a little bit of information about choosing droplets. One thing that I like on this page is the making a data driven decision section where you can just create a droplet, see how it performs. You can look at all of our graphs inside your dashboard and say, oh, this application is getting a little CPU intensive. Maybe I'm hitting my limits there. Maybe you wanna to jump to a CPU optimized droplet. For this, I'm gonna go with basic. Let's keep the $6 a month and let's scroll down. Here we can configure a little bit of additional storage and SSH keys so that we can connect to our droplet after we create it. The SSH key way is more secure than the password way, so I'll add my MacBook 16 SSH key here. We have marketplace add-ons, and here are some more add-ons that you can have. If you want to go to a production level droplet, you may want to add a managed database. That's one of the coolest things that we can do. And now you have a database and a droplet all in one. You can even enable backups and monitoring here. I'll enable monitoring. And I'm just making a test application, so I'm gonna save these for later. You can always add these later on. You can change your host name, tags, move it to a different project, and now you can see that I'm running a $6 a month droplet, and I'll go ahead and create droplet. We have our droplet created now. I can click into it. We can see all the things about our droplet. We're in the SFO3 data center. We're running Ubuntu 22.10 and we can click into it even further and see a little bit more stuff. And we have our droplet created now. Now you can connect to it, manage it, add your applications to it, and add add-ons to your droplet.